Hello, my name is Frank Christensen and I'm the coordinator of officials for IFAF Europe. This is the fourth of five training tapes concerning defensive offside. Today we're looking at offside with contact. So a defender comes across and, and contacts an offensive player causing us to shut it down. But before we get to the clips, let's have a look at what the rulebook and the MOFO have to say. In the rule book, we go to Rule 218.2, Defensive Offside on a Scrimmage Play. Article 2 says, after the ball is ready for play, offside occurs when a defensive player, A, is in or beyond the neutral zone when the ball is legally snapped, B, contacts an opponent beyond the neutral zone before the ball is snapped, C, contacts the ball before it is snapped. D. Threatens an offensive lineman causing an immediate reaction before the ball is snapped. Or E. Crosses the neutral zone and charges towards a teammate back. Rule 715 talks about B requirements. Players aligned in a stationary position within one yard of the line of scrimmage may not make quick, abrupt, or exaggerated actions that are not part of normal defensive player movement. In the MOFO, we go to 3-4-4, uh, dealing with offsides. A, when a defensive player before the snap moves and an offensive player subsequently moves, a conference between the umpire and the wing is mandatory. This is to determine if the defensive player was in the neutral zone and if the offensive player was threatened. When in question, the offensive player is threatened. If the team A player who first moved is not threatened, it is a false start. B says, when a defensive player before the snap crosses the neutral zone and charges towards a teammate back, it is a dead ball offside foul. The time to call this as a foul is when the defender passes the hip of the nearest teammate lineman. C goes on to say, don't rule a defensive player offside if he is stationary and only intruding on the neutral zone by a trivial amount. D, don't be picky about offside, particularly on fields that are not marked perfectly. And E says, don't call offside if the defensive player is moving forward at the snap, but is not actually in the neutral zone. And finally, 13-2 dealing with uh, responsibilities for wings on basic scrimmage play says, observing offside and other line of scrimmage infractions by team B players, especially those between you and the ball. So as a wing, you are primarily responsible for anything that happens between you and the ball and secondarily responsible for what happens on the other side of the ball. So you're uh, most of your focus should be on on your side of the ball and that was the book now let's have a look at some game film in this first example we're looking at the interior defensive line and there you can see B93 coming in uh, clearly making contact with the center and even if you had doubts whether the snap started before the contact was initiated uh, just like with unabated to the quarterback if we have any any doubt we want to shut these down because nothing good uh, can come from letting this type of play go on here we're looking at the defensive tackle closest to the camera uh, and you'll notice there he comes across and contacts the guard and and we simply have to to, to shut these down simply because uh, once the offense moves uh, there is no play whether he moves on his own or because he was contacted by the defense um, he moved so we need to shut it down uh, if he moves on his own it's a false start here uh, it's defensive offside with contact uh, and good job by this crew to shut it down quickly Again, we're looking at the defensive tackle closest to the camera, and you'll notice he moves in there. Now, whether he makes contact or not, this is what we like to call uh, contact by philosophy. Once he gets, you know, 
in there between, uh, beyond the ball, between the offensive players. Um, whether we can tell if he's making contact or not, we're just going to assume that he's making contact because it's very difficult to be in there without making contact. And again, if we uh, have any doubt, we want to shut this down. Uh, so that's uh, well done by this crew. So that was the training tape. I, I hope you found something you can use on the field.